To this introduction into recap, I'll use a one by one square kilometer downloaded from Court for Sunning. Remember, when you download files, they might be zipped, so before you can do some in recap, remember to unzip them. If you want to see the full square kilometer, you can go into preferences and change the far clip to, for example, 2000 meter. Navigating in Recap will be the same as any other program. So using the middle scroll key on your mouse will zoom in and out. You see the navigation shortcuts on your screen, but also holding your right button on your mouse will orbit and holding your scroll key will pan. Then in Recap we have a fly mode where you can control the speed by holding your left mouse button and using the scroll to adjust the speed. If you lost orientation, uh, the camera will be pointing towards west and here you'll see Prisman and Via University College and CSB. Under display setting, you can change the size of each point in the point cloud. You can also change the color mode of each point. The default value will be RGB, but you can change it to elevation to see where do we have the highest point in this point cloud. If you want to delete any points in the point cloud, you can left click with the mouse to select and press delete. I'll press Control Z to undo or press this button here. And I'll change it back to RGB color mode. Let's try to make a site analysis of the high tower prismid. So if I start the distance command and I move my mouse over uh, some of the points, you'll see that I'll get the coordinate X and Y according to UTM coordinate system, but I also get the set coordinate. So maybe it's a good idea to change this color mode to elevation so I can find or I can mouse over the darkest blue point to get the highest one. If I want to keep my measurements in the recap model, I can go to distance and add some annotations. So author are set to set, and depending on where in the point cloud I press on this uh, street, we know that uh, those of us who have been here, that the, the terrain is quite sloped here, so it depends on where I start this measurement. But if it's on this side of the building, you'll see 64 meters. And if we rotate the view and um, make a measurement from uh, somewhere at uh, Vibovai, and then we can add some measurements and they will be visible in the recap file until you delete them. In the lower right corner of your screen, you'll see Project Browser. Here you can see your annotations that we have just made. You see the two annotations we have here. I can uh, hide them or I can delete them if I want to do that. Also, if I want to stay this view, uh, this, this camera view that I have here, I can go to view states and add this as a new uh, view state. So if I rotate to somewhere else in my recap model here and I want to go back to, to this site analysis I have made, I can then click on this and I'll go back to this view so the view will be stored. So to finish this session in recap, you'll go to the Home tab here, then you'll be back to the Home screen. So the next level of working with Recap will be on this example from VIA University College, where I have laser scanned uh, this uh, room here with this uh, Leica BLK360 
uh, leader scanner. So open the point cloud. And remember that if you have lost orientation, if you have zoomed into a specific point and you want to see the full point cloud, you can go to the navigation tool <clears throat> and say zoom extends. So this is the area that we have uh, laser scanned. We have some uh, annotations, but we also have those mirror balls as you see them here. That will be a position from every a station where we have uh, laser scanned this room. So you can jump in between those different mirror balls to see where the scanner have been uh, placed. So we have, we can choose between real view and 3D view. 3D view will show the point cloud, you see all the, the huge amount of points in this point cloud and you can change to real view to see uh, the actual 360 photo of that uh, specific scan. In the project browser you'll see the assignment that we have in this uh, point cloud added as annotation. So for example this assignment 5 we need to have maybe a new future door or window here so you're supposed to measure um, the width and the height of this opening. So again, remember you can turn on and off those annotations. In the display setting, you can change the size of those mirror balls if you find them too big. So now we want to measure this opening here. So on the distance, I'll start with the easy one, and that will be the set value. You can see when I move my mouse over here, I get this, this red sign saying that, that there is nothing to measure. So if I cancel this and go to the 3D view, you'll see why. Actually, where I want to measure here, there are no points in the point cloud. And that might be something to do with the material of the floor material, um, the reflections on the floor. So I'll, I'll start by uh, measuring from um, the surface of the ceiling to um, a few points uh, or places on the floor where I can see that there are uh, points to measure to. So I'll create um, some, some measurements here. I maybe take for granted that the floor is, uh, is is leveled um, and then I'll take um, a mean value to get the average of the height. So if I measure uh, horizontally again the walls uh, you can see we have a lot of, of points on the wall so again I'll take a few measurements here to get an average. So it will now measure perpendicular from the wall and to the column here. Remember those annotations that we have here. I can delete them if, if I find one of them is too unprecise, for example. And the measurements on the project browser, you'll see the measurements here. So from the project browser here, I can jump to assignment number, number four, which will be a bit more complicated. Again, we have to measure the height and width of this opening. It's a bit more complicated because those two walls are not parallel. So we need to have um, some more tools for increasing this specific area. So I'll... Uh, use the tool limit box to um, to make a smaller area uh, of the point cloud so I can I can see this opening from from all sides so and when I'm happy about the limit box I'll press confirm so again I'll start with the with the easy task first of all, and that might be to measure the height from 
the ceiling to the top of the floor and ortho set will be a good choice here so and we have a lot of points available both on the ceiling and on the floor to measure so that is not the biggest problem here so if i want to edit for example the the limit box here because i i want to to remove the ceiling so to say so i'll say limit box and say edit and then i'll move down the top here so i have a, a very good section of this area um so now that there might be a few ways of measuring here but i'll just show you one i think you you can try some of the other tools here but again it will be surface and then from this surface as close as possible to the corner and then to somewhere on this uh, floor here we'll check afterwards if it's in the right di direction of the front of, of uh, the wall because it might be otherwise since the two walls are not parallel then it will not be uh, precise so it looks like i found uh, the correct uh, distance here um, so again i'll add some dimensions here and then i'll take a mean value for getting the correct um, width of this uh, point cloud And to terminate, the limit box will be the last in this video.